Hey miners, Mining King here. Today, we're going to be talking about how to set up nodes on the Flux network. But before we get into that, here's a word from our sponsor. Fluxpools.net would like to announce a new weekly lottery for loyal miners that support the project. As you might already know, Fluxpools is operated by people from the Flux team. Our goal is to provide a safe and transparent mining experience. While the Flux project does not take directly from the pool, we do give a portion of our fees back to the Flux project because we understand that both the project and the miners are what make this pool possible. Flux Pools has given away nearly 5,000 Flux a month back to miners, and they have decided to reward even more miners during this time of uncertainty. The new weekly Flux lottery gives five lucky miners $50 each in Flux every week with 95% uptime required. There are 10 months remaining in this program and replaces the $1,000 in Flux monthly giveaway. There will also be a bi-weekly winner with 99.5% uptime required will receive 1.7 kilosol hash rate for 48 hours. All mining and parallel asset fees are waived until October 14th. This is on top of their weekly loyalty program. The giveaway prize will be sent directly to the mining address and nowhere else. Please do not mine directly to an exchange. Your rewards may be lost as a result. Please check out fluxpools.net for a great place to mine. All right, miners, I'm going to show you how to set up some of these other nodes on Flux, right? So Flux had an announcement. Um, it, was a, it was on the 4th of October, and it's going all the way till October 31st. So the end of the month, they're giving away uh, the 10,000 um, giveaway here is they're giving uh, 1,000 Flux to 10 winners, right? So you can win with uh, any of these nodes here. So there's Caspa, Pivx, Raven uh, nodes, Neoxa, Dash, Kadena, Bureau, Presearch, Kazuma, and Polkadot. So a lot of these nodes here don't give you any incentives. Some of them I don't know anything about, like I don't know Kazuma or Pivx. I don't know a lot about Caspa or Dash. Um, the Raven and the Oxa nodes, they give you no incentives. It's just to support their network. Same with Puro. These are all on Kapow. Uh, so these are all going to be non-incentivized. Uh, not sure about Polkadot. This uh, pre-search node does require 4,000 pre-search. So it is putting in a stake. So this does actually yield you some tokens. But the... The ones that we're going to be concentrating uh, today on are going to be the Raven coin and Neoxa one, and um, or the or the Fear. If you guys want to do Fear, if you want to support them, um, I'm not gonna, but that's just my personal choice. You guys can support Fearo if you so choose to. But this is in the announcement section of Flux. Um, I'm here quite often, as you guys know. I am a huge advocate of Flux. So let's go over. So to be able to get to this area here, we're going to go to the runonflux.io, which is just because in case you guys don't have Flux nodes, because I, I, I can find the marketplace much easier with my Flux nodes. Um, but you come over here to Ecosystem, and then you're going to click on Apps, and then you're going to come over here to Marketplace. Okay, we'll let it load up here. All right, so now we're over here at the marketplace, and this is this is going to tell you what nodes that you guys can run, and all of these are here. This is a hosting service. It says right here. N don't know a lot about this either yet. So you can see how much flux it's going to run you each month. A lot of these are not going to be more than three. It looks like the Caspa and Chainweb uh, is going to be the most expensive. Um, for four and a half flux the rest of them are around two to three flux a month so it's pretty cheap if you guys want to run one and support your network so let's go ahead and we're going to click on this neoxa one you're going to see here you need to log in with your zell id so we're going to get it into zell core we to click on home here and uh, you can see the message here and then I am going to log in. So we're going to click over here on home. And then you're going to see log in using your Zelle ID. So you're going to have to open. So I have my Zelle core up. Right now, I'm not going to show you my Zelle ID and stuff, obviously, for security purposes and things like that. 
But what you're going to need to do is just click this little thumbnail, this little thumbprint here, and then it'll pop up in your browser here and you click open. And then it'll have you sign and send a message. So once you sign in, uh, once you uh, sign and send the message, so once you sign and send your message with your Zelle ID, let's head back over here to the marketplace. Now you guys can choose obviously the any of these other nodes that you guys want to use, whatever you guys want to support. If you guys are into Caspa or Raven, we're just gonna do Neoxa, just because you know it's a it's a project I do support. So we're gonna click on Neoxa. We're going to click on the Start Launching Marketplace app. Okay, we're gonna click Next on this screen, and then you're gonna have to sign and, and send a message again with your Zelle ID. So you will have to have your Zelle core up again. So click on this, it'll ask Open. It'll bring you to another screen on your Zelle core that'll say Sign and Send. I'm not going to show you it because it has my um, Zell ID. So I'm going to click sign and send and then you click next. So we're over here on register the app. So what we need to do here is click on the register part and it said it's giving you its um, propagating uh, message across the flux network. So we're going to wait. So we'll just give it a second. It says registration hash has been received. We click next and now we need to submit our payment right we need to submit our payment of 2.3 flux to this address now you can manually do the address and manually add this in the message or if you want something simple you can click pay with Zellcore with the little zell id right i really like how they have this it makes it easier than copy and pasting everything you just click this and then click open again It'll say, do you want to proceed with this payment on your Zellcore? And you're going to click proceed to pay. And then all you have to do is, and here I'll show you uh, on this screen here. Look, all we have to do is click send. And click yes. And there it was sent. Okay. So now that we've submitted our payment, we can now click finish. Right. And then it's going to ask, are you sure you want to do this? You're going to click yes. Just make sure that you've submitted your payment before you do get to that part. If you didn't do that, then you're going to have to start over again. Now you're probably asking me, Mining King, how, how, do, we, how do we find our Neoxa node? I don't see it here. We're back to the main screen. Where is our node, right? How do we find it? So we need to head over to apps. And we're going to click on global apps. And these are all the apps even the ones that are, aren't in the marketplace, these are all apps running on the Flux network. I mean, look, there's Minecraft. Looks like somebody has a uh, poker TH. So some, somebody has a poker game going on here. There are so many different things. Like Minecraft Bedrock, uh, TeamSpeak. Uh, there's all kinds of things that people are putting on here, you know? So it's just amazing to see how how many apps that they've already have already so it's just amazing so hopefully this this will continue to grow and grow but to find our our node right because this is just things that are just active apps right let's we, we need to click my apps and now you can see that i have a neoxin node and i did a test earlier just because I wanted to make sure it worked, right? Um, you will have to wait a few moments um, because it does have to delegate. It won't pop up instantly. You might have to wait five or 10 minutes because it needs to actually put it on the network and delegate it over to a node, right? Which is, you know, like a cumulus node. Um, so it has to find somewhere to go on the network first. And then once they have your resources dedicated, then you will see it here in the global apps. Now you can uh, click here and s click manage, and then it'll give you the uh, specifications, you know, of your Neoxa node and all that stuff. And um, you know, you can see, look, it's using two V cores, four gigs of RAM, and twenty-two gigs of hard drive space. So I really like that they're 
trying to, uh, you know, inspire people to not only make their Cumulus nodes and Nimbus and Stratus nodes, right, and support just their network, but they're actually trying to get you and other people to support other projects. So I really like how it's more of a, you know, global, you know, ecosystem that they're not just worried about, hey, just get our Flux nodes and hey, who cares about these guys? No, they're trying to, they're trying to help out all these other projects as well, right? So really great stuff to see Flux doing stuff like this, uh, promoting uh, other projects within their own. So really amazing stuff. I wanted to do this video just to show you guys that this giveaway is happening. So if maybe if you're new to mining and you don't have a Cumulus node, right, this could be a perfect opportunity for you to get your thousand flux, right? There's going to be um, 10 winners and each will get a thousand flux. So you'll be able to win a Cumulus node. So that way you could start your own node. So this is a great way. I know there's going to be so many people participating. Um, but, I mean, you could be one of the lucky winners, right? You know, I entered it. I could be one of the lucky winners. My content is mostly focused on showing you guys new things that are happening within our projects. Um, so that way you guys kind of stay informed about what's going on with Flux and some of these other uh, coins that I'm interested in, at least. So let me know your guys' thoughts. Let me know your guys'... Are you guys going to participate in this? What are you guys doing? Let me know down in the comments down below. All right, this is the money can giving you the most hashes, and I'll see you next time.